Good morning guys, I hope you're all well this morning. JJ here and we are just down outside of Mooloola Bar at Point Cartwright Lighthouse. We just caught the most beautiful sunrise. I was able to get the drone up and it looked fantastic. The wind did catch the drone at one point, made it go a bit wobbly, made my heart flutter a little bit, but I think it's gonna shape up to be a really cool day. We're gonna show you around Mooloola Bar. There's plenty to do around here. Spending our day in this little part of the Sunshine Coast. The lighthouse is a functioning lighthouse just above me here. And now we've come down little rock pools at the base of the lighthouse, exploring them before we head back into town. Sammy's been a massive sport this morning getting up early for sunrise too, so I think she's earned some brekkie. How did you spill your food on your sunglasses on the first bite? Round two. So that was a really good brekkie. We went down to a place called the Velo Project, which is the place you gotta go for breakfast or brunch if you're down here in Mooloola Bar, and it was pretty good. Sammy had some crepes, I had eggs Benny, because why would you have anything else? And now it's time to kind of walk that breakfast off, burn a few calories. We're gonna walk here from the wharf in Mooloola Bar all the way down the foreshore to Alexander Headland. Now down here at the wharf, there's heaps of little cafes and shops, but also a whole bunch of different water sports you can do. You can hire a paddleboard, jet ski, kayak, hire a boat, which I think Sammy's pretty keen on. Just because you got a boat license doesn't mean I trust you driving one of these things. It's a video, not a photo. So one thing we really wanted to do today was come to Sea Life here in Mooloola Bar, which is an awesome little aquarium right near the wharf, but they're actually closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays at the moment. We've got seals here and even a few little penguins that I helped hand raise a couple of years ago. So I'll definitely have to come back on a day that they're open and come see them. The sunny coast seriously has some of the best beaches in southeast Queensland. They're absolutely awesome. All right, so we just pulled in to our campsite here at Cotton Tree Holiday Park. That's where we decided to stay. It's a few kilometers away from Mooloola Bar, but good decision because we legit have the best site here, right on the beach. Look at it. How good is that? All right, so the tent is all set up. It's always good fun doing that when it's really windy. It's been pretty windy today, but despite that, we're actually gonna head out on some paddle boards. We're meeting a fella in about half an hour. He's gonna bring them right down to the water for us, which is awesome. Cruise around on those for a little bit, but till then, just chilling, having some cheese and bickies. Thank you. And um, yeah, bloody beautiful day for it too. Also, how crazy is this? There's a little bird nest up here, which is a noisy miner nest. Half the nest is made up of fishing line. I've seen so many birds getting entangled in fishing line just on the beaches, let alone when they're safe and secure looking after their eggs or chicks in their nest. And this is just a friendly reminder, take your hooks, lines, sinkers, lures home with you. Don't leave them at the beach because these guys are actually picking it up and using it in their nest, which is quite frightening. We've got paddle boards. <laughs> it has been a while, but it's just like riding a bike, eh? Off she goes. Also, I just realized this is gonna be kinda hard to do and film at the same time, so that'll be a bit of a challenge for me. All right, on dry land again, just for a minute. I was out there probably about 20, 30 meters out and then realized that 
what's that heavy thing in my pocket? I have my phone in my pocket still and all my confidence just disappeared. I'm happy to fall in the water, absolutely, but I literally got all jittery <laughs> as I realized the phone was there and if I fell in, it would have been completely stuffed. So slowly paddled back, now we're safe. Don't care if I fall in now. <laughs> so much fun. I think I've definitely got to invest in one of these. Why are you crashing at me? All right, time's up on the paddle boards, but if you are ever down Malulubar Way, or more specifically, Cotton Tree, Maruchidor, definitely hit up Ocean Addicts for your stand-up paddleboard hire. I've actually dropped it down to the beach for us, which was awesome because, I don't know, we didn't really want to tie it onto the roof racks and pick it up, so they sorted all that out, gave us a quick run through on what to do, because it has been a little while, and uh, yeah, it was great. He's coming to pick them up now, and then we're gonna head back to camp. You have fun? Yeah. Even though we started really early here in Malulabar today, uh, the day has escaped us. The sun is down. We actually kind of missed sunset. Didn't look like it was that good anyway, but uh, we went from stand up paddle boarding to go get some supplies for dinner. Before we knew it, it was nearly dark. Tomorrow we're gonna be heading to Wildlife HQ, an awesome little zoo here on the sunny coast. So be sure to join us for that. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for letting me ramble on. I'll see you in the next one.